this is Elisa from Anaya's Toy Box Crochet and I wanted to show you guys this hook. Uh, if you recall, about two weeks ago I made it and I needed to sand it down. Well, I've sanded it down. And the reason I haven't shown and tried it on before was because I was a little upset with how it turned out. I sanded it down. As you can see, it's really, really not smooth. It's it's not as clear as this side. It's very murky. Um, first of all, I sanded it when it was um, a little too, it wasn't quite ready yet. Uh, it needed to dry longer before I sanded it. And uh, so I have these bumps here. Focus, hello, okay. I did sand this side down, which it really needed it so that it sits in your hand nicely. Um, I sanded this part down and I've polished it and I've got nothing. I used, I've, I watched videos before this, uh, before sanding it down and I got the finest sandpaper. So basically they use like eight or nine sa types of sandpaper. They start with like a medium fine, then they go to a fine and then they go to super fine and then blah, 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 all the way down. Now I couldn't find anything beyond fine in my hardware store so I just had the fine and I suppose if I were to be able to find or if I were to invest in um, in getting those like thinner yarns that it would be nicer but because I didn't like it it's been on a time out and I have not tried it out yet uh, and so in this video I'm going to try it out and I showed you a close-up I still like this part I really really like it um, this part, obviously, no. Um, this is a clover head. It's 2.25 millimeter hook. And um, I'm going to try it out for the first time. So one of the things just off, not trying it out yet, I feel like maybe if I had put the hook facing sideways when I was making the mold so that this part right here would be the part in my hand, it would be better. I'm not sure yet, though. I have not tried it, but um, those are the things that came into mind when I was playing, well, sanding it and holding it and trying to figure it out. Um, but anyways, I haven't tried it yet. I wanted to try it with you for the first time. So I have a project in mind that I'm going to make with this and I need, guess what? Skin tone. So uh, this, by the way, in case you're wondering, is Paintbox Cotton DK. And uh, the colorway, does it say on the back? Yeah. The colorway is 409 Light Caramel. So I use this as skin tone for my, uh, you know, light colored dolls. Light skin tone colored dolls. Eee! I can't seem to get it out. Oh, well. Yarn barf. <sighs> Here it is. All right, here's the end. So I am going to try this out. So I am going to be making a doll and I'm gonna see how this hook works. This might end up just being, okay, first off, right off, the resin goes too far up. Um, I'm feeling awkward already because the resin goes all the way up to here and I'm not, completely comfortable with that I feel like I feel like it's more than a 3.25 millimeter hook because of that see again I go in too much of it is in because I'm already into the resin part so I'm not liking that either yeah so making one stitch only one my yarn split I gotta say I don't know, like, to tell you the truth, I haven't held it for long enough in my hands to be able to say that it's super comfortable or it's not super comfortable. But even so, come on, what's it focusing on? What is it focusing on? Okay, even so, without even crocheting for too long, because the resin goes all the way up here, this was not by choice. Again, I bought a pen resin, uh, I didn't bring you here, resin mold. And so I just put it in here and I had no idea how high, 
this is my first resin project ever. I had to make it a hook, of course. <laughs> um, it goes too high up. The resin goes way too high. And so, if you could tell, the resin ends about here. So I don't have enough of a neck to crochet with this. Um, this is pretty and it'll look pretty in my hook case. It'll look pretty, um, but it's not really usable. Like, I sp let me do one more stitch. I don't feel like this is a usable hook. It is a pretty hook, but no, it's not usable. I'm having a hard time because the 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 shaft is so small it's like literally up to here the resin comes all the way up to here and this this part is way too small to be able to crochet with it comfortably so my experiment with the resin hook using a pen uh, mold is a bust um, I will if I could get hold of without having to buy them in bulk. Super, super fine uh, hooks. I um, Sandpaper, I will continue to sand this down to the point where it looks beautiful in every angle. And this will be one of those hooks that's just going to be there to look pretty. <laughs> it's just going to be there to look pretty. That's what it is. Uh, but it is not a usable hook. I am kind of disappointed I'm actually really disappointed by that I was disappointed already by my not being able to do a really good job here and I'm disappointed that I can't use a hook but you know that's what experiments that's what we crafters do we experiment with different materials and we try to make it work and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't so this one is a fail uh yeah I have seen where you can get molds of crochet hooks, not using the, the tip of some other hook. You use the whole thing as resin. I have found some molds like that. Uh, will I be buying it? I don't know. I don't, like seriously, unless I can find sandpaper that's super fine. Number one, I wouldn't be thinking about buying it. Number two, I'm gonna wait till the weather warms up before I do any more resin projects because uh, it's just too cold it's uh, to have the window open all day because you need to have a lot of uh, air ventilation when you're working with the resin and it's I live in New York City and to have the window open all day long and then go to sleep close the window whatever it's not yeah it's not gonna happen um, I will try to find small molds so I can make stitch markers. I think that would be fun. But as far as a hook like this, I think that this is the only one I'm going to make. And it's going to be there on with my yarn to look pretty. And that's it. I'm not going to use it. Um, so that's my attempt at making a resin hook. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to hear more from me, please subscribe. Bye!